everybody. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. It is a good day because we are here at the Kentucky Horse Park in the Alltech Arena for the Bluegrass Rock and Rodeo. It kicks off tonight. Yes, it's I can't going wait. on tomorrow. Yep. I'm Amber Freeman. We're here uh, with David Goldman. David Goldman, right Lisa here. Hi. Lisa, hi, right here. Thank you guys for having me here. Sure, I love thanks this. for being this here, awesome. Amber. This I'm is gonna roll out with you. You guys got your cowboy hats on. I know, we got some hats on. Look at that. Woo. It is a. We got big a rodeo day. garb on. Too. I know. Real official. I know. Well, have you guys I ever mean, been to a rodeo? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm from I Kentucky. have to. Not your first no. rodeo. Then. <laughs> Not my first rodeo, right. either, girl. I like how we do it. How's everybody feeling today? Oh, good. I'm so good. excited. The guests that we have on are amazing today. Unreal. I, I can't Seriously. wait. Uh, Walker Montgomery. We got to hear him play a little earlier. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You like it? J.W. Erie's going to be on the show, too. Have you ever tried steer wrestling? No. Heck no, I haven't. But I'm going to talk to him all we'll about Lisa it. Lisa on the horse. <laughs> Blam. Boom. All right. Well, it. we're going to get all involved. Everybody here is going to get involved, and all of you out there can get involved as well because we have a giveaway right now. Yeah. We still have tickets for Saturday's events at the Bluegrass Rock and Rodeo. There should be a number that comes up on your screen at some point. If you're the third, all right, third and fourth yep. caller to call that number, you're going to win two tickets to tomorrow night's Bluegrass Rock and Rodeo. Get on that. It is worth it. Even yeah. if you don't oh, win so the tickets, fun. there are tickets still available. So come on out to Alltech Arena. It is sure to be a rockin' time. <laughs> all right. Speaking of rocking, let's jump right into topics. Yeah, for we don't today. tiptoe into anything at no. the table talk. No. We just dive and right in. Well, and this one's kind of a big turn. Oh yeah, it is a big this turn. Pretty, but it's uh, but it's stick good with to us. Know about it. I'm, of course, I'm the one that has to say this. Revenge porn. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? And it gets quiet. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, the thing is, it's now illegal in New York City. Okay. They have made it a misdemeanor to disclose, threaten to disclose any intimate images, I don't right. know what intimate causes, uh -huh. with the intent to cause harm. And what's going to happen is that person can end up in prison for up to year, one year, a thousand dollar fine, or both. What do you think of that? I think it's great. Yeah. It's like one of the worst things somebody can do to somebody. I think um, so too. I've had friends that that's affected, like, and where police have been involved. Wow. And it can manipulate somebody's life. So, you know, Facebook's got a new thing on that where you, they want you to submit photos so other people cannot, and mm -hmm. they'll use those photos to categorize it. I know, who's submitting those? <laughs> I don't know. Right? So what you have to send in your new picture <laughs> to just some just random person Facebook? on Facebook? Yeah. They're like, yeah, send it to me. <laughs> you know, it's like, he's yeah. down in the basement. I don't the want to discredit but I'm Facebook, I'm but glad that's that a little shady. It's a little wild, but I'm glad they're making it, you know, a legal issue so that people can do time now. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm you, just surprised it hasn't happened until now. I'm right. surprised it hasn't happened, like, you know, years ago. Well, there's you no know, federal ago. revenge porn law. Yeah. But 38 states and Washington, D.C. have already done this. New York City wanted to do it a while ago. It took uh -huh. a little, you know, you have that... Red tape right, to cross right. over, right. and now it's it's it is. Did you know that one in eight internet users in the United States have been a victim of non-consensual revenge porn? Wow! Oh no, wow! I, didn't I mean, it's that it just hot. turns into social media. You just have your pictures. Right. Kids do it. They don't Kids. even think of it. They yep. take pictures, send them to somebody yeah. else, and, and they think it's harmless. always there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it, it does not get erased. You Ever. know, you put it out there, and it's it's out there. It's out there forever. So it yeah. is. It's really dangerous. People build trust in people and they feel vulnerable and then the next thing they know people use it against them. Absolutely. Yeah, it's true. And there's you know, there's a whole other dark side with this too, where people are getting these pictures and then blackmailing them right. with exactly. for money. Exactly. And they'll say, Oh, you know, and this is happening in colleges right now where college students think that they're hooking up with somebody, um, you know, like a college age student with themselves, you know, right. and they're exchanging photos and they're doing live videos as well and then all of a sudden the other side the person that they're doing this with they're recording it and then they blackmail them for like six hundred dollars a thousand dollars and if they don't if they don't give them the money then they're going to post it to all of your Facebook friends which is unreal yeah, yeah. what you put on the internet or send to somebody 
in internet world is always, always there. It is. All right, one last question. Would you guys send your nude pictures into Facebook? <laughs> I mean, I already Heck have. No. no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Did you post? I posted. I'm like, click, click, click. I thought it'd be good for the you show. Just, you just no. took care of it all. Like, David, I'm putting it out David, there. you don't have any nude pictures. No, no, no you know, I've right? always, I've always thought like about a political career, and I'm so against that. Yeah. Like I'm big on yeah. it. Yeah, you got to be careful. Absolutely. Period. Would you send yours? No, no. <laughs> no. There's none you, to send. I love how Amber's like, would you send yours, implying no. that you have and one. And what about you, Amber? Yeah, Amber. <laughs> I don't even have any. I mean, right. that, I don't even use a camera phone. <laughs> 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 All right, moving on. Moving on. Which, or, yeah, I know. Kind of jumping into this, and this, this story could actually help you maybe not ever have revenge porn. And what it is, it's, you know, we've got Thanksgiving coming up, which... In my hometown, the night before Thanksgiving is one of those times to go out and actually see everybody from our hometown. Right. And we usually meet at the bars, go out and have some drinks. So we wanted to give you guys some little tidbits on basically how to be smart and safe while you're going out to the bars and hanging out, having drinks with the holiday time. Okay. Good so advice. the first thing we really want to push is keeping your drinks into the single digits. <laughs> I know that's like... Oh yeah, duh. But they're saying. Remember, that's to nine. Not well, to nine. <laughs> they're actually saying over the week. But let's say that you are going out during the night. Definitely keep it in the single digits so that you're not, you know, getting too wild. Because you really don't want to be suffering during the holidays. Two drinks in, and I some know. people get wild. I with know. Some people. Troy. I, I, think, I think we've all seen that friend where you're like, "How many have you had?" And they're like, "One, two. Uh, I know, so, anyways, keep it minimal. The next thing is staying hydrated. They really recommend that you drink a glass of water or seltzer water for every drink you have. You are going to feel so much better the next day. You're not going to have those headaches. You're not going to have, you know, the hangovers. Stay hydrated. It's going to go a lot farther. Okay. Next thing we really want to push is avoiding sugary drinks. So, you know, your mixed drinks, I know, your girly drinks. I know that's what you're thinking. You're like, but... Not that you would ever I'm not drink. Not a girly drinker. Oh, okay. Tough over here. She's got that cowboy it's hat the, on. It's that candy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to be careful, you know, um, be careful about your rum and cokes, you know, mm -hmm. things like that. Just be aware. And then the last thing we really want to push is eat before you go out to drink yes. instead of after. Because as much as that big cheeseburger feels good after you've drank, you're in a much better position if you've eaten and filled your stomach up with some food before you go out and have yeah. a good time. Okay. So, you know, be careful, be safe, and definitely have a driver that hasn't been drinking. Uh, that's your number one thing. Make sure do not drink and drive. Do not. I mean, we're not here to preach. Absolutely. But you, we need to tell you. Well, do you guys have any personal, not again, not that we drink, but <laughs> any personal tricks that you think maybe helps slow down that drunkenness or I'm, maybe I'm the big next on morning. the hydration yeah. yeah I'm really big on drinking water like you know if I'm gonna have a drink I've got a like I love it I'm always drinking water what mm -hmm. about you Lisa yeah I drink a lot of water too and I, I really nurse my drinks too right. you know yeah, I, I try to take cash with me to pay for the drinks and then that way I limit myself on how much I'm gonna drink for the night too just in case not that I you know not that I'm diving at right. the bartender and give me a drink no <laughs> that's smart but you know I do try to limit myself so that I know well and they have those um, emergencies and vitamin B yeah. that they say help not that we know, <laughs> but you want to avoid any holiday fights yeah. with your friends or family. That's the yeah. last thing you want to be doing next week, and you want to arrive alive. Yes. <laughs> All right. Very important. You have some more <laughs> tips for us, don't I do, you? Yeah, I have. Here are the do's for Thanksgiving Day for dinner and for your wherever you're going to be traveling. First of all, are you guys going anywhere? Are you having people come to you? David, you first. I'm I'm actually uh, staying in Lex, uh, and my family's all coming in. Okay. So I'm awesome. excited. Yeah. Awesome. All right. And what about you, Amber? I will be on ABC 36 News. <laughs> That's right. That She's evening. She's a working girl here. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I I'm hosting my family for okay. Thanksgiving. Oh, so. you have a big job. Yes, I do. Yes, <laughs> yes, I do. And, uh, and yeah, I think Bob Evans is going to be my friend the day before. Respect. But, um, you know, these are the do's that you can do for Thanksgiving if you're a guest or if you're the host. So for the first one, as a guest, make sure you're on time. That's oh, the yeah. number one thing. Make sure you're on time. Nothing worse than Never an entire table full of people ready to chow because they've been in the house smelling all these smells. 
and you're waiting on, you know, granddad, you know, Huckabee to come. Always granddad. <laughs> Should you be early? I mean, is that is that rude as well? Because you're still in the kitchen, you may not yeah. be dressed. You, you know, you don't want to be too, er, you wouldn't want to be too early because you can also kind of be in the way yeah. of the process. Can, so, can I just give a shout out to my sister? Okay, <laughs> please listen to this advice. Being on time That's right now. That's not a shout out. That's yes. giving her instructions. Okay. <laughs> Barbara, I need you there on time. My my family shows up like Sorry, two Barbara. hours late. You know, it's just it's how they roll. Well, you know, it happens. David, it's real. You know? Okay. But um, okay, and then also RSVP far in advance, as far in as in bad in advance as possible because. They want to make sure that they have enough food, that they bought enough food to make for that day. All of a sudden, if you have 10 people RSVPing at the last minute, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to be running down the Kroger trying yeah. to grab food. That makes sense. Yeah, you know. Or you're going to be stealing off somebody's plate, and then there's <laughs> alcohol here. involved. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it gets <laughs> ugly. It just gets Not ugly. Good. Don't do it. Okay, and then another thing for the guest to bring something. Anything, yes. bring something for the host. Yeah. So it can be a bottle of wine, it can be a, a plate of food, cookies, you know, a dessert, a whatever. Turkey. A turkey. Oh, like, Just no. bring it. Shoes, yes. Just jewelry. <laughs> I love gifts. Just, Just saying. saying. <laughs> okay, and then for the host, you want to plan out your menu weeks in advance. Ooh. So Ooh, I'm a little behind on this one, just yeah. a little bit. I've got the main main course, the turkey. I turkey. know I'm going to have that. Check mark. So, so ham, I'm going to have ham. Okay. So. But um, but yeah, it helps to alleviate that stress as much as possible. But I really do. Actually, I use the same menu every time I host. So I have like an entire. <laughs> so people know what sheet. to expect. Yes, they do. They Does know it exactly. Turn into what a to joke. Do. Um, no, it's not. Everybody like looks for because they like those dishes. Okay, I've narrowed it down to the sense. ones that people like, I, I, and then I'm not hurting. I love you know, how Lisa's like because I'm a bomb cook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> People love what I do. This is the best dish ever. Yeah. That's we right. like it. And that's right. And then um, the last one, make sure everybody is introduced in oh, case you have friends yeah. coming over. What about name that, tags? Yeah. I'm a big fan of that's, that. I think that's on Thanksgiving? Thing. Yeah. <laughs> like with like, your family? Uh, Uncle, what? Jim, I've got a big family, guys. David, right? your Thanksgiving dinner may be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Right? I mean, I don't, well, I mean, I don't know. Like name All tags. Right. Lisa, be I guess water. we know who won't be invited. <laughs> yeah. Amber. Mm. I'll bring my name tag if I do. <laughs> Those are all good tips. Because yeah, yeah. Stress is up during the yeah. holidays. It Anything is. that you can do to keep things on the DL down low. Exactly. We want exactly. it low key. We want everybody to have a good time. Right. Keep it it's chill. It's a fun day. We're here to be with family and to have fun. Exactly. Yeah. All, all right. Well, thank you guys. And sure. speaking of having fun, we have a whole lot of fun in store for you. We have a chat with Walker Montgomery coming up, and you're going to get to hear some of his music after the break. Stay with us.